What is up everybody, Shinji42 here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a new event, a new feature here in Rise of Kingdoms. As you guys can see, when you click at your trading post, you will have a new icon. It's a scroll icon here. It is going to be the Lucerne Scroll event. Now, this is going to be a seasonal challenge. So right now, we are in the season one. We have about 56 days. And I am going to be diving down in this video. We're going to be breaking this Lucerne Scrolls so that every single one of you guys will understand and be successful. So as you get into this page, you will see that there is a level up bar you will need to increase your level by finding clues. Now, there is also an information icon here. You can click that and understand some of the rules for this event. Now, you can also purchase your level. You can purchase your way through it by spending gems. As you can see, if I want to max out my level right now, it would cost me about 59,000 gems. Now, what's the fun in that? If I am just going to spend gems and you know, increase my level, max it out right away. So we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to spend any gems in here. We're going to be grinding it all out. Amazing, right? So this event, I think it's great. It's a great event for players that loves to grind. If you want to keep logging in and completing tasks, this is the event for you. Now, let me explain this event real quick in here. We have this Ancestor Legacy. So I want you guys to picture this kind of like a battle pass. You guys have seen it on some of the games that you have downloaded as well. This is basically similar to it. So in this first row, this is going to be the free rewards. You can claim these rewards by leveling up. As I level up, this reward will be unlocked for me to obtain. Now, you can see at level 10, you will be obtaining Book of Covenant, 20 of this. Here we go. Now, for the second row in here, this is going to be something that you will have to purchase and unlock, similar to like battle passes. You have to purchase it. Once I click unlock in here, you have two choices. You can either do the $5 one or the $20 ones. Now, the difference in here is that the $20 one, you will have every single thing that the basic pack has by unlocking the rewards, unlocking the opportunity to receive season specific themes, but you get extra 50% weekly challenge clues. So if you want more challenges, you will probably want to purchase this bundle. And also it is going to increase the Lucerne scroll level by 10. We're gonna figure it out later on what this thing does really because we're going to be unlocking this solution. This is actually called solution, not a battle pass or pass. At the bottom of this, you can see that there is a note here. You can only buy one of these two solutions. Please make your choice. So I want you guys to be aware of that once you purchase one. I probably once you purchase this $5 one, you cannot go back to the $20 one. Let's say you purchased this and you decided that, oh, you know what? I kind of wanted a $20 one, but then like you can't do that. Okay. You can't go back. So in this video, we're going to show us purchasing this $20 one because this is what I want. You can only purchase it one time. And um, I don't know, perhaps on the next season, they'll offer you another bundle, uh, another uh, solution pass. So for this season one, you can only buy one. You have to make your choice carefully. Which one do you want? So you guys are probably wondering, how can I level up my Lucerne Scrolls? I showed you guys earlier a way where you have to purchase with gems. And also, I want to show you guys the second part that you can do it. I want you to click on the challenges here. There's two tabs, rewards and challenges. On this challenges, you will have a weekly challenges. In this week one, we have infantry training. We have cavalry training. I think I have already completed the archer training, which granted me 30 clues. Now, as you complete this task, you will gain some clues. So most of these are very easy tasks. Make 45 purchase at the courier station, train 11 key archers within the week. These are all doable and collect stones in your city. And I like it. It makes you 
want to grind and gives you a purpose logging in each day completing these tasks for the week. Now there are going to be more challenges as weeks goes by so you have to be on top of your game. There is also a season challenge so for the whole 56 days you have to complete this. One thing in here, logging in by 50 days. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Training an army, 450k units. You can definitely get this done. If you are competing for Mightiest Governor, this is easy. Done. Nature's Gift, you are going to be grinding and gathering resources. You need that, so that's easy. Complete your daily quest. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. You need to do your daily quest because you are also getting a daily gift. 50 clues so you have to complete 50 points for the daily challenges and then you will get points in here for the daily gift so i want to show you guys this i have five right now let's go to the daily quest and then this is going to be five and three so that's going to be eight so that's going to be total of what 13 right so let's go ahead and go to the scrolls and then go to the challenges now i have 13 out of 50. once i've reached 50 out of 50 I can go ahead and click that and collect 50 clues for that day. So you have to complete your daily tasks for that day. Now, I want to let you guys know completing this daily task is crucial. You are going to be getting basic action point recovery here. One of my favorite thing, one of my favorite items in this game. And also you are going to be getting some golden key, epic commander sculptures. That's going to help you guys out. Challenge ticket for your Sunset Canyon in the magic box. You get a lot of good things in the magic box and the best thing that i want to get out of the magic box is action points now let's get back here okay you have a lot of things in here to do as the challenges now you can see that you have to defeat barbarians and destroy a barbarian force this is going to be so easy if this thing comes out during kvk but right now in my situation this is during a non-kvk situation so i like it because then it's going to increase the activity of the alliance everyone's going to be defeating barbarians everyone's going to be rallying barbarian fortress what does that mean the rallying barbarian fortress meaning we will be getting a lot more gifts so we are going to be getting here from the normal gifts so we when you claim this all you are getting basic action point recovery which is going to help us during kvk when we bank all of this out and also what happens is there you're gaining some keys and also xp for your gift level when that happens i can open this blue crystal and i can collect some massive rewards and then as our gift level increases our blue crystal is going to change i think it's going to be red crystal the next one i'm not so sure i haven't gone into the level 30 yet but we need this we need to keep grinding being active and right now i don't have any troops so i'm not a good example of it right now but we will but since we're doing video and i just got home you know i will do all my daily tasks later on for the divine inheritance rewards i think i saw about like one okay two and um did i see another one there nope three four and um five legendary commander sculptures you can also check it by clicking this you can see one two and three four five legendary commander sculptures so you can get now i kind of want to get this still because you get some free emojis i don't honestly if I'm being honest, I don't think the rewards are that worth it for the price that you're going to pay for 20 bucks. But if you want the cosmetics, I think it's worth it buying this uh, solution pass. Right, I'm just going to call it solution pass. And um, I think it's it's worth it doing it that way. So, I mean, you get some of the name plaque, which I'm probably not going to use because I have a really good one right now. I have one of those uh, when you win the anniversary event. But you get some AP in here as well. Not a whole lot of AP actually. That's a thousand AP there. Um, you are going to get some, I guess, what is this? Uh, uh, probably a name plaque as well. A name plaque or an avatar, I guess. Um, you also are getting some more um, clue cards for the next season to use. And you are going to get some decorative building here. Um, I don't think you are going to get some uh, city theme in here. I didn't see it. So. 
we are just getting some bunch of cosmetic like emojis and stuff we're getting some stars oh there is a permanent city theme which is going to be the hidden lotus if you guys don't know what this is you guys can check it out here by clicking your city hall and then scroll through that and you can see the hidden lotus i think it's really cool very like asian style um city theme in here really great for cav and bad for archers so this is not something that is good for me but I am still going to get it because you'll never know when I have to use Cavalry Rally in the future once I have my Cavalry Commander set up. It's good to have many city themes so you will have many different arsenals in your game. When you are in a situational base game, you want to be able to switch out your city team for different types of buff for different situations. So let's go ahead and purchase this $20, get more rewards, and also raise our Lucerne Scrolls by 10 let's go ahead there we go we are purchasing now awesome processing takes a while payment successful and um donate Ooh, you're putting me in no pressure uh no thanks for now no thanks all right so level 11 lucerne scroll i don't even know how to say that lucerne lu cern scrolls hopefully i'm saying it correctly so we can claim prize. All right. Oh, I'm level 11 now. Oh, so that's what it does. So it unlocks all up to level 11. But hey, you know what? It's cool. Let's go ahead and claim all. And um, days of arc emoji, huh? Question mark. All right. So we will probably want to equip that. So here's the rewards that we got for purchasing that 20 bucks. And you kind of skip a little bit of the grinding part there. So it gets you just ahead of everybody. All right, click OK. And um, challenges wise, we get plus 15 now as we complete this. So 30 plus 15. Oh, we get extra points now. Interesting. So what that means is that remember when we talked about the um, enjoy an extra 50% weekly challenges clues so this is it so it's going to give us 50 more percent on clues when we complete a task in here i thought we we're getting more challenges but i am incorrect so by purchasing that solution pass we are getting 50 percent more rewards of clues as we complete the task so hopefully that's helpful guys let me know what you guys think are you guys going to purchase a 20 dollars one or the five dollar one or you know let me know what you guys think about this event do you guys like it or not is this something that lilith had spot on made it amazing great for players to grind maybe good for free to play player because then they will be having some you know free rewards in here even though it's going to be the top tier only these are still free rewards you are not getting any legendary commander sculptures aren't you but you are getting some stars you are getting some stars and what you don't get anything when you are in the level 80? Oh, wait, what? Hmm, let me know what you guys think, but you are getting stars if you're not unlocking it. So here's my suggestion. I don't think the $20 one is really that worth it. If you can purchase the $5 one and get all of these rewards and just grind through the weekly challenges, I think you guys are gonna be fine. But I purchased a $20 one just to show you guys what you're going to be getting from there. And um, you can see that you are getting some extra bonus here, right? So I think the $5 one is going to be more worth it for this event. So just think about that one. I think the $20 one is not really that bad. But, you know, it's up to you guys how much you guys want to pay. But I think $5 one is sufficient enough. But I can't believe it. I didn't scroll through earlier from 71 to 80. You don't get anything for free. And then there's some holes in here as well. Wait, that just makes me really sad. But, oh my god. Um, yeah, I think you kind of have to purchase this bundle for you to get the maximum rewards from this event. But let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comment section below. See you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Bye.